headed to the Detroit Auto Show to see if it sucks. As we're walking through the show, we ask ourselves the same questions every year. What was your favorite thing about the show or best car of the show? What was the biggest fail or disappointment? It's usually Dodge related. <laughs> no joke, it's always Dodge. Uh, what was your the ultimate dream car? If money was no object, which car from that show would you drive home in? And then what's your realistic dream car? So you could probably actually afford that someday. Uh, what car would that be? So let's go find out what those would be. Allow me to sound like a crotchety old man for a minute. Yeah. Parking is a fiasco at Kobo, just so you know. It's always been bad, but then the one garage that we had worked out, now we can't park there. Man, that guy almost hit me. Okay, so we found a parking spot. It's like a mile from Kobo in some random tricky parking lot, and we just got the old bait and switch, $30 for parking, supposed to be 15 don't worry, it'll be awesome. We made it. I got that. Finally got in the building. We're doing some nice stuff over there. We'll check it out before we're going. We just hope the car is still there when we get done. <laughs>
saving grace is the Acura NSX. That's it. for the 2018 Detroit Auto Show. We'll talk about best in show, biggest disappointment, dream car that you could actually own someday, um, and then just overall dream car. I gotta say the best in show was a two-way tie between the original 1968 Bullet Mustang that was featured in the movie. It was the actual hero car that Steve McQueen, Steve McQueen drove. Uh, that was pretty epic. Um, and then to bring Molly McQueen in to do all the, the promo work on it, which she's the third generation McQueen for the third generation Bullet. I mean, it was just, I mean, they really did their homework and they, they tied it up in a very nice little bow. I thought that was pretty epic. So I got to put that as best in show. A very, very close second place for me was the 4GT. That, that car, it checks every, bo every box. It's epic. It looks fantastic. It performs fantastic. You've got the whole history with them kicking Ferrari's butt and then winning Le Mans again, uh, it, that does it for me. Dream car, of all the cars that were there, you know, Ferrari didn't show up, Lamborghini didn't show up, Porsche didn't show up, Bentley didn't show up, Rolls Royce didn't show up, and the list just keeps getting bigger every year of cars, or manufacturers rather, that aren't showing up to the Detroit Auto Show. So the only realistic dream car that was there for me was in fact the Ford GT. So it, it wins in two categories. Biggest disappointment, I mentioned that it's usually Dodge. <laughs> I, I've, I've gone over to you know, like Dodge's plane, and you, you press on the roof and the thing just you know does that because the sheet metal's rolled so thin and you get a little disappointment. Um, I've seen in the past where Jaguar, the paint didn't match between the, the polyurethane nose and the, the hood. I assume it was an aluminum hood and they had a metal flake in it and it didn't, the colors were off. That was the big disappointment. Um, but I gotta say this year, the biggest disappointment was the show itself. Um, it's obvious that the manufacturers are cutting way back. There's very few concept cars. There's very few supercars. I mentioned all the manufacturers that were obviously missing. That was a big, big disappointment. Even Ford. Ford, in my mind, in my opinion, Ford is one of the manufacturers that is like the pillar of the show. They're holding up the show. They often bring concepts. They often bring 
um, simulators and uh, things for the kids to do, like you can build a little Ford GT or, a, or the new Mustang or a Raptor in the past. Um, they, they do a really good job with like the interactive category of the show. It's, it's so much more than just the cars. It's the future things they're working on. There's engine cutaways. There's, they do a really good job. Um, Mercedes came to the table a little bit with that, as did Lexus. Everybody else in general was, it was just like walking through a dealership where here's our cars, they're on the floor. I was even a little disappointed in, in General Motors, as big of a company as that is. It was just kind of meh. They didn't have like really, really cool displays. I mean, they did pretty well compared to some of the ma smaller manufacturers, um, but not anywhere what they've done in the past, anywhere near it. So that was very disappointing. So we're gonna go off to Chicago next to see if all the manufacturers are just dumping their money in the top three markets. That would be New York, LA, Chicago or if the manufacturers are just flat dying and they're not investing in auto shows in general. So that will be the next video that we do. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, uh, help us grow the channel if you like what we're doing. Next video will be the Chicago Auto Show. Enjoy.